If you've been following the AI space, you probably know that large language models are helping developers build all sorts of neat and novel applications. That's because LLMs are excellent at processing and producing nuanced fluid language. But LLMs have some limitations. For one, out of the box, they're not connected to the external world. When responding to user queries, they don't have access to knowledge outside of their training data. This means that they can't return real-time information about things like weather or traffic or the news. And they also can't take actions like booking flights, sending messages, or writing information to a database. In other words, if we want LLMs to be really useful, they need to be able to interact with the outside world. When we ask an LLM what the weather is at Austin tomorrow, we want it to pull this information from a weather API. And if we want it to do something more complicated, like use an LLM as a helpful assistant that can help us book a trip. At some point, we're going to have to call some APIs to book flights and make hotel reservations. So how exactly do we teach LLMs to use external tools like APIs? Let's take a look. Let's say we want to build a chatbot that has access to a weather API so that we can ask it about the weather and it can give us updates in real time. For example, what's the weather in Austin? How would we architect an app like this? Well, the first step is to write a prompt to get the LLM to specify when a call to the weather API is needed. And second, we need to write the application code to actually go out and execute that API call. Finally, we need to feed the API output back into the LLM so that it can produce a response for the user. Let's break down each of these three steps. As usual with LLMs, the first thing that we want to do is to design a prompt. And as a reminder, a prompt is the text that we feed into an LLM to get it to take on a particular behavior. In this case, we want to write a prompt that allows the model to indicate when an API call is necessary. Here's one way we can structure that prompt. We might start with an instruction that tells the LLM what our objective is, like, your objective is to complete the user's tasks. Then we describe the tools the LLM can use to complete the user request. In this case, the Weather API. For example, you have access to the following tool, followed by an example of what using the tool command looks like. What we're doing here is simply telling the LLM what tools it has access to in plain old English. Since LLMs are capable of processing nuanced natural language, this is actually often enough to get the LLM to take on the behavior that we want. However, sometimes it's also helpful to add some illustrative examples to our prompt showing the LLM what we want its behavior to be. One example input could be, what is the weather in New York tomorrow? And the example response we want is the command weather and the city New York. So we pass this prompt into an LLM with a new user request like, what's the weather in Austin tomorrow? The LLM should output something like this, which is what we want. What we've done here is design a prompt that can get an LLM to output tool commands when they're required to complete the user's request. However, just to be clear, the LLM isn't actually calling any of these APIs. It's just producing text that indicates that we, the programmer, should go out and actually make that API call. And that's something we have to design in our application code. So let's see what that might look like. First, we need to detect when the model outputs a tool command. In our case, we prompt in the model to output the tool command in these curly brackets, so we just need to do a string search to identify when a command has been issued. Then we have to actually go out and execute this command. To do that, we'll take the string weather Austin and we'll extract the parameters we need to make the API call. How we do this depends on the API and how complex it is. Here we just have to identify the target city, Austin. We write code to call the API and then we get back some response, which is typically in the JSON format. Okay, let's recap. We got the LLM to output when an API command is needed to complete the user's query. Then our application executed the API command. Let's suppose the response is this JSON object which contains the weather in Austin. Now we could just return this JSON blob back to the user. Technically, it answers the question. But most people don't want to read JSON. So instead, let's use the LLM to take this info and produce a more conversational response. We can accomplish this by writing a brand new prompt that shows the LLM how to issue commands and how to rephrase the API output into something more conversational. We'll rewrite our original prompt to do just that. Here's the prompt we started with. Remember, it included an example of the user asking for the weather in New York. Let's extend that example by showing the model how to rephrase the API output. First, we add a new field to the prompt where we append the JSON response. Note that we're not gonna ever actually show the end user this JSON, but it will be part of the model prompt. Finally, we add an example of how the model should rephrase the JSON into something that sounds conversational like so. Now, using the prompt when we ask what's the weather in Austin, the bot responds first with a command, then we go out and we execute the API command in code, 
and to pin the response to the prompt. Then we call the LM a second time, and this time it takes that API response and voila! Our end user gets their question answered with real-time accurate weather data. This is one basic way to design an LLM application that can interact with just one tool. But how would you extend this to multiple tools? In addition to listing out all the tool commands that we want our LLM to have access to, we might need a more sophisticated prompt. Maybe one that even includes logic about when to use each tool. One recent prompting technique known as React is a way of writing prompts that combines chain of thought prompting with taking action. As a reminder, chain of thought prompting is a technique where we nudge the LLM to explain steps of reasoning to arrive at an answer. The React technique can be especially useful if a single user query requires multiple steps, and maybe even multiple tools to complete. Designing prompts to teach LLMs how to use tools is an active and developing area of research. If you're curious to learn more about different prompting methods, we've put some links in the description below. That's the basics of connecting large language models to external tools. Let us know in the comments what tools you're using with LLMs.